Folks, Engineer 775 here on another homestead project. I hope you can hear me. There's a lot of noise, a lot of, a lot of action here. A lot of chainsaws, excavators, tractors in the background. We just got finished burying a 1500 gallon cistern here. We're working on a vent. Always make sure you vent these. If not, you'll implode it. It'll be a bad day. We're doing a solar pump to fill this cistern and gravity feed this whole farm and also feed the house. And uh, the house is kind of pretty high. I got this tank as high as I could get it. And we're gonna feed, gravity feed the house. We're gonna have three pumps in the well. We have so many options here. It's a lot of fun to start from a clean slate. We're gonna be putting a AK solar system on here with a EMP hardening uh, system with solar. And uh, oh, there's a lot of other tricks. I wanna try the Chill Tricks uh, chiller for heating and air conditioning and lithium ion batteries on this job. So this, hopefully the customer will let me do the works on it. And but we're starting today. You can hear they're clearing trees and uh, doing a lot of work. And uh, thankful for those gentlemen because they've been doing my trenching and my digging. Abraham and I have just been plumbing away. So uh, this is a homestead from scratch. It was an old farm place and we're gonna make it off the grid. All right, we have a 1500 gallon Bruiser tank, which is a multi-purpose tank. It can be a septic tank, a water tank, whatever you want it to be tank. Cash, tank, hideaway, whatever. We've got an inch and a quarter line filling, filling and supplying the property. We have a one inch overflow. And we'll be able to take that water down to the well, which is right down there, under that rock right now. They're gonna build a pump house. And then we take the water and we, we head up here and we put in a bladder tank to get them water. They just drilled the well last week. What an awesome well, 200 foot deep, 30 gallons a minute, 20 foot static. Very nice. We're gonna build a, a nice shop down here. Got a beautiful trout stream below. Gonna do a lot of gardening, already doing some nice gardening over there now. This is fun. This is fun for me anyway. Thankful the gentleman didn't drop a tree on my truck. He was close, made me nervous. Anyhow, let's uh, oh, get back to work. So two days here so far, phase one is getting this homestead water. We're gonna probably end up taking hydrants down, all the way down in different, uh, he hasn't uh, got the uh, plan yet for how he wants to farm this place. So um, we might be cutting these trees down for an airstrip too. Everybody around here seems to have an airplane. It's pretty wild. So that's an awesome piece of security equipment. Just I'm just gonna hop in my airplane on my farm and take off and see what's going on and then land back on my farm. That's an awesome, that's gonna be an awesome video. I just don't think I'm gonna get in the plane. I don't know, I'll have to get my courage up for that one. Let's get to work. But we wanted to give this customer as many backups, as many options as possible. So we also put, a, as you saw, the 1500 gallon tank on the hill. We've got an 86 gallon pressure tank in the house. Multiple pumps that can feed either the tank or the tank in the house, the pressure of the bladder tank. We have more valves than we should, but we got the ability to, we have a master control for the tank. We're going to put a 12 by 12 building here. There will be three solar panels. Sorry, I'm sweating quite profusely right now. We're gonna put three solar panels that are gonna run the SQ Flex pump. We have an AC pump, Grunfoss, an AC DC pump by Grunfoss, and the ability to send the water in any direction, um, just about any direction. We're going to have a transfer switch on this wall so I can select electrically between the two pumps. And then we have five valves to do the selecting of where this water goes. Water's gonna go everywhere on this farm. And, uh, and that's about it. So take a close, well, take a close look at some of this. Can you see this? <laughs> we got SQ Flex coming out this direction, that Grunfoss SQ05-160 coming out in this direction. And the 160 for the most part satisfies the house. But if that pump ever went out, we could run it with solar. The solar, and a lot of people don't realize this, you can actually charge the bladder tank when the sun is shining off of the flex pump. So in a grid down scenario, you don't need any batteries. I've been kind of, not arguing, but trying to communicate that to the customer that batteries can be our nemesis 
and being able to use the elevation changes on this property and solar I don't have to have a battery the tank is my battery the pressurized tank is a battery so we've got plenty of water and, and that's water from the tank oh my goodness Woo! that feels good <laughs> Engineer 775 back on a water pumping job and I've been waiting for this building to be completed. They put a nice standing seam metal roof on it. So we got Johnny back to solaring with us. So we got a nice little small job in between our two locations. And uh, so we teamed up again to pump some water with some solar. So uh, got these awesome little ace clamps that hook to the standing seam. Got eight of them for the whole array, so we're good. Really stout, and we got. I'm gonna see, show you the the rubber, uh, the roof boot. I don't know if you can see it here. Can't really see it too well. There's an LB, a cord grip, and a boot there. And uh, dropping that down inside. I'll show you the. We do them, a, seems like we do every job a little bit different. This one's gonna have, I'll show you a different transfer switch we're using. Hey boss. Boss, we need that other rail. Well, I know, but it's good to have you back. Good to be back, boss. All right. That's why I like, when I'm happy to be back, I get my finger in Lexel. I said, I don't always do solar, but when I do, I use snap and rack. Stay green, my friends. <laughs> okay, folks, we're wrapping up. This is a quick one day get panels on the roof and pump water. The pumps were already in, but we had to move bladder tanks and plumbing from the house, which is under construction up here. We had to move it into this nice new pump house. So we moved the bladder tank and replumbed. We added the Grunfoss IO101 transfer switch, which is a great way to switch from grid or generator to run a pump or you can use solar. Right now we're on solar pumping, filling a cistern for the farm to gravity flow the entire place. Engineer 775 wrapping up a interesting a multiple pump water system on a farm and beautiful farm. We've really enjoyed working here um, partially because there's no cell service. Uh, <laughs> so we can focus on the job at hand and what is that? That's installing two pumps from Grunfoss in this well and adding a simple pump hand pump. The two pumps are Grunfoss SQ and the other one's at SQ Flex that can run on solar, which it is right now, it's filling a tank on the hill, or it can run on the grid, which we also added the IO101. You can get this in the 115 volt version or the 220. We did the 115 volt version here and there's a breaker in here. So when I turn that on, the there's a transfer switch relay in this 101 that automatically switches to um, AC power. So the CU200 accepts 30 to 300 volts DC or 90 to 260 volts AC. 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Very, very forgiving, very flexible, hence the SQ Flex controller, the CU200. It's awesome. And so we have. Um, it, the, the only thing you run into with a Grunfoss is that it requires these reverse action pressure switches and so we call it our solar switch and, as opposed to the standard Schneider or square D pressure switch. So there you have it. So we have controls. We can, we can actually pressurize this bladder off of solar when the, with no batteries here. We can pressurize it off of solar. We can pressurize it off a of grid. And we can also, we put a 1500 gallon bruiser tank up on the hill. I'll show you, well, I kind of showed you before. It's up there on the hill and there's the vent, candy cane vent stack coming out of that. We put a, um, a SJE rhombus uh, float switch in there. I like those because they're three wire and no matter what type of relays you've got to control it to, you can, you got to, pump up or pump down scenario that that rhombus switch works it has a weight on it as well for adjusting the throw and the amount of gallons before the pump comes on so that's that's a really cool simple switch setup and then you'll see these I put a couple of valves in here um, if I just shut this off like it is now 
and the pre it see the switch sees pressure from the grid pump then the pump will never run so I shut the switch off I shut it off and then I put a little bleeder on the side to take the pressure off the switch so now I can run off of that I also put an overflow in the tank on the hill so you can do that if you want fresher water to turn that tank over once a day but right now we're setting up once the tank is full we shut it off so there's so many options here so many valves um, you can also gravity feed the house from the tank if the tank is full so I know it's kind of a Rube Goldberg it started off with all of the stuff was in the house and then they decided they wanted it down here so we had already done a lot of work and then we moved had to move this down here so that's so if I had to start all over <laughs> it would be a little bit cleaner but the function would be the same cloudy day putting water in the tank we've already tested the float switch so we know that when the tank is full that float switch light will come on and shut the pump off so nothing can get damaged and we have an overflow just in case so a lot of backups backups to backups for sure on this system got any questions let me know this is engineer 775 signing out from this location i think for the fifth or sixth time is it fifth or sixth time yeah <laughs> thumbs up for mr abraham it's time to go to the next site as you can see the leaves are it's a beautiful place the leaves are i don't know if they're not quite in peak but it's uh we've enjoyed driving down the road and